Hi guys, good morning. So today is Monday and yes, I am barely getting out of bed. I'm here with my little preview. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to get up, but um, her and my Jackie need to go outside. So I hope you guys can follow me around today. I'm going to do like a little follow me around for the day uh, quarantine style. So if that is something you want to see, then I'd love for you to keep watching. And again, as always, I feel there's something in my eye. Ugh. But yeah, these little brats have not wanted to go out today because it is raining. But I think it kind of stopped right now, even though it's a little bit wet. So I'm going to send their little booties outside. And then I'm going to start like getting myself ready because I can't go the whole day like this, guys. <laughs> Um, I actually washed my hair last night right before I went to sleep and I didn't really go to sleep with wet hair because I let it like self dry but this is pretty much what my hair looks like when you know I don't do anything to it so I definitely have to do something to it and yeah guys let's see what we do today I have a couple things on my agenda like I wanted to run to Costco today and I wanted to um, do some stuff on my computer. I am finishing editing up a video from a couple of days ago that I want to go up tomorrow. So I need to finish. Um, I'm actually done editing it. I just need to review it to go live on my channel. And let's see what else. I want to do a couple other things like learn some more stuff and research some more stuff on my computer. But I'll go over that with you guys later. So right now, these little pups have to go outside because they need to go pee. Um, they've been inside since last night, so that's what I'm gonna go do. She's not so happy. Mm -hmm. We're not a happy camper. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jackie. My Jack sleeps like in the kitchen because it gets so hot for him, uh, the carpet. So he sleeps in the kitchen and Sin somehow always makes her way on the bed, even though sometimes I don't like her there, but somehow she finds her way there. All right, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Go, baby. Go, Jackie. Oh, Tini, go. You have to go. Come on, Tini. Jackie. Princess. No. Princess. Just go really quick. No, no, no. <laughs> Hurry. Go really quick. And then I'll wait right here. And go do your business. And I'll come get you, okay? I'll come get you. I know this is crazy, but a lot of times... Oh, he already saw me. Dang it. It's kind of blurry because my camera's focusing on the blinds. But I come to the window and I crack a little bit of the blinds open. And they see me and i kind of just wait for them right here to do yeah. their business yeah he's mad at me he already barked at me and then when they're done i open up the door but i don't even see oh look there my jackie goes he's going pee pee but my princess i don't even see her at all i am gonna go ahead and put my hair up really quick whatever it isn't that cute but then i'm gonna put my contact lenses on for the day because i don't want to wear my glasses all day you know if you're a contact lens wearer it literally is like second nature to just throw it in your eyeball like nothing that's me <laughs> done this is a toothpaste i use i've used it for years it's the only toothpaste i actually like side note i only like using a toothpaste that actually is a white paste i don't like anything that's like blue or green gels if you want white teeth you need to use a white paste and then i also use a whitening listerine afterwards and after my routine okay all done now i'm just gonna use this is like the generic version but it's just like the you know post rinse mint flavor whitening listerine just put some in a cup and then the last thing I'm going to do is just use my CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Usually just like two small pumps. And then I'm going to start washing my face. And then I'm going to rinse it off. Alright. Clean as a bee. That's the best feeling every morning is when you come and wash your face and brush your teeth. Because now... Even though I haven't showered yet, I feel clean. Okay, lately I've been putting this stuff on my face. It's from um, my dermatologist. And I don't know, this is the name of it. She told me to pretty much put this on in the mornings. And I tell you, this is like how I've been breaking out a lot. And so I've been putting like a light layer of this on like my breakouts in the morning. 
and hopefully I start to see a difference. I've only been using it for like four days now. So hopefully I start seeing an actual difference, like where I break out. It's supposed to help like pimples and acne and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna go check on the pups right now. They're probably all ready to come inside. <laughs> come here. Oh, we gotta dry your feet, come here. He got wet, y'all. Why are you always the one getting wet? Why? So Sin got hurt a little bit yesterday and I have Neil sport on her and she, boop, I don't want to kiss. And she keeps trying to lick it off. So I have to tell her no. So I decided to do a load of laundry. So I'm throwing all of my stuff in the washer. Don't forget to check your pockets. I don't know how many times I've washed things in pockets. Okay, so I actually, um, if I haven't said, I actually just quickly showered. I'm gonna just put a little small bit of makeup on, not a ton. Um, normally when I'm home, I like never wear makeup, but I do wanna just put a little bit right here under my eyes and maybe a little bit of like brow powder. I'm actually even just gonna use my finger to blend that out, just like that. Like something so, so simple for the day because realistically when I'm home I never wear makeup but I'm gonna just put a little bit of concealer I mean it looks so natural like it looks like I still have no makeup on I'm not gonna put anything down here because I want all my like blemishes to breathe a little bit and I have all that medicine on them so I want them just to breathe for today I don't want to like clog any pores so I'm just gonna put some concealer and then I'm gonna run some brow powder through my brows and then just a coat of mascara and that is all. That's all I'm gonna do today, folks. I literally just like boop, 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 boop. I like mix all of them. That's what I do. Like very lightly just to give it a little bit of a tint. I mean, my brows are already decent as it is, thankfully. They're not like amazing. Like if I'm gonna actually wear makeup, yeah, I do have to like fill them in. But for the most part, they're like decently good. Like I don't have to draw on a full brow from like scratch is what I'm saying. Just have to kind of like fill them in a little bit, like right there. Perfect. Also, if you don't want to put brow powder, brow gel, just swipe on your like favorite tinted brow gel just to kind of look somewhat put together, even though you know you're not like super put together, but you know, something small makes a huge, huge difference. So whatever you need to do to feel pretty, do it. So yeah, just like that. I'm literally gonna keep it just like that. And then I will put my tinted brow gel on. This is just the NYX one, of course. I talk about it all the time, just like that. And then I'm gonna just put some mascara on and I'll be done. Curl your lashes a little bit. I have the worst lashes ever. I'm like, this is why I do lash extensions because I just, I hate my lashes. I pretty much have nothing. And the lash extensions did not ruin my lashes because I didn't really have anything to begin with. Like I have a lot of them. They're just really like short and they just go straight down. So like even after curling them, like, like yeah, I can see a little bit here, but it didn't do nothing. So I'm just gonna now coat uh, with some mascara and that's gonna pretty much be it for my makeup today. Just so I look a tad put together. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually in the kitchen and it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually already afternoon, but the time went by so fast this morning and I'm gonna just get some little bit of chocolate milk. I bought this one. I'm just trying to finish this. I actually hate this chocolate milk, the true moo one. It tastes disgusting, but I have to finish it because I bought it. And, um, I like the one that I bought from Costco and I need to go back and buy that one because this one was not the business, but again, I bought it, so I need to finish it. Now I'm gonna make myself something to eat. I'm literally just gonna make like an omelet. It's just gonna be like a cheese and egg omelet. And then um, I'm gonna do some turkey bacon and I might make myself a waffle. I buy the Vans gluten-free waffles and I'll show you when I pull them out of the freezer. But I'm gonna make myself pretty much like a brunch because like I said, it, it's already past noon at this point, but time just went by so fast. And then because it is so dark and gloomy outside, I, I literally feel like it's like still morning because randomly now it's like, 
the last whole week has been so sunny and then now it's like cold, you know? So I'm like, okay, now we're back to winter again, even though it was starting to look a lot like spring. So that made me sleep in a little bit more than normal. Well, honestly, I, I actually do sleep in quite a bit because right now if you're in quarantine, what else are you gonna do? So I have been just sleeping in. So, you know, I'm getting a little bit of a late start today, but after I kind of get myself ready a little bit, I always come in and make some breakfast. If it was sunny outside, I probably would have taken the dogs for a walk. That's what we did yesterday, but it's not. So, you know, today is a little bit different. I'm actually defrosting my turkey bacon right now because I forgot to thaw it out. But again, I just buy the, I mean, they're frozen because I left them. I, I freeze them so they don't go bad, but these are just the hickory smoke uncured turkey bacon from Costco. And I think they come in like a four or five pack. So I pretty much just like, I leave one out and then I freeze the rest. I'm adding a little bit of salt to my egg and then I'm gonna put in a little bit of milk. That's what makes them fluffy. This is just the cashew milk that I bought. Uh, you can use whatever milk you have. And I put a little bit of milk and salt and I like that in my egg. It makes them taste really, really good. So it's just gonna be an omelet. Um, with just the Colby Jack cheese, I have some right here in front of me that I need to shred. So I am have some cheese right here that I will shred. And then I'm gonna put some avocado on it. I don't have any veggies to put on it. I don't have like, usually I would put like spinach or even like peppers if you guys have peppers, but I don't have any of that in my fridge and that's why I wanna go to the store. Okay, so these are the Vans waffles that I'm talking about. You can get them anywhere. I've seen them at every store. Um, they come, let's see, how many are in here? Six waffles. I don't really eat a lot of them. Um, I have two of them left and I only eat one. So I'm just gonna put one in the toaster, but I actually really like these. So these are the ones I'm talking about. And I already have my turkey bacon going on the stove right here and I'm gonna start my egg. And don't forget to put like oil in your pan, guys, or else your egg will stick. At least that's my experience. I always put oil in my pan first to make the most prettiest omelet. So when I'm making my eggs, I'm pretty much just like, as soon as I feel like it's kind of goodly cooked on the bottom, I kind of just like push it in so all the like the loose yolk can go to the bottom. So also what's on the bottom doesn't burn. So I'm constantly like rotating the pan. I don't know. There's about a million ways to cook an omelet, but that's kind of how I do my omelet. Okay, now one of the things I love with everything is avocado. And this is my last one. And that's why I want to go buy more from Costco, like the big bag that they give you. And I pretty much just like cut it in like slices and then I scoop it out. And then let's see, I'll put just a little bit on here like that. And I put the avocado like on top of my egg like that. So like an avocado egg. And then I'm just waiting for my waffle and I'll put my waffle right here. That's my breakfast. I was thinking about this food all last night. I went to bed so hungry because we had dinner. We made like um, garden asada tacos, but we ate at like, I'm gonna say we ate maybe by like two or three in the afternoon. Cause yesterday was Sunday and you know, we made like one meal. We weren't gonna make like two separate meals. Mm. I love turkey bacon. Put a little bit of maple syrup on your turkey bacon. Tastes amazing. So yeah, so I really didn't eat a second meal last night. So when I went to bed, I was like, oh my God, I cannot wait to make this tomorrow. Cause I was so, so hungry. So I thought about this all last night and I could have easily made myself like a bowl of cereal or something last night, but I don't like to go to bed like eating and then go to bed. Uh, I just feel like you don't have time to digest it. And then you just feel like gross as you're sleeping. And sometimes I even get like nightmares as I'm sleeping if I go to bed eating. So I waited for this and it tastes amazing. So I'm just gonna eat my breakfast today. Um, technically I am on call to work tomorrow. So because my trip already pre-canceled, I have to call between six and 8 p.m. today to see if there is an alternative assignment for me. So my day, you know, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen as soon as I'm done with this. And then I'm gonna probably, like I said, run to Costco. And then till then I'm gonna just sit and see if they have an assignment for me to go tomorrow to work or not. So 
We'll see, but for now, I'm just gonna eat my breakfast. It's really, really good. All right, guys, so I just got to Costco. I am in my car. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mask. There is already a big line here, so I'm gonna go stand in that line and hopefully it doesn't rain anymore today. I don't wanna stand in the rain. I have an umbrella, but the forecast doesn't say rain, so I'm not gonna take it, so hopefully it doesn't bite me in the butt today. All right, so my mask is on and I do have gloves. I carry some of these gloves in my car, so I will go ahead and I'm just gonna take one, just so I can touch uh, stuff with one and then touch like my purse and stuff with the other one. So wish me luck. I'm gonna go get in line here at Costco. So I'm trying to find a topper for my bed because I don't sleep well at night at all. I feel like I found one, but I will show you guys which one I bought and I'm gonna assemble it when I get home and hopefully I get a better night's sleep tonight. So this is the one I'm gonna buy right here. I bought it in a queen, hopefully it works, but it was between that one or this one, which if this one doesn't work for me, I'm gonna bring that back and get this one. So they're pretty much the same price, but I'm gonna try this one out first and then I'm gonna get this one if that one doesn't work out, but that's the one I'm gonna go ahead and take. This is my basket right here. And I'm gonna make my way to the checkout line and get out of here and get home. Okay guys, so I am back in my car and wow, just from wearing the mask for like less than an hour, I get all these like marks. I could never imagine being a nurse and doing like a 10 hour shift or whatever, how you must feel with that mask and all your like battle scars. But um, I'm really happy with what I got. Um, they only had paper towels here today at um the costco right by my house where i live which is the one that i come to we're like in desperate need of like um like lysol or clorox wipes but we haven't really been able to find that however i do have alcohol and like aloe vera gel so i could definitely make my own like clorox wipes or sanitizer um i have still this one's like almost empty already they're just like little um sanitizers that I leave in my car already sanitize my hands so I'm gonna start heading home and I'm so excited to put that mattress foam on my bed and that's exactly what I'm gonna do as soon as I get home okay so I'm just gonna cut this with the scissors try not to cut the bed or the foam the good thing is is that I talked to um the people at Costco and if it doesn't work out for me I can still return it which is great this is the foam Ooh, this feels really thick and luxurious. So this is the foam. Wow. So this is how thick it is. Um, ooh, it feels really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Ooh, this feels really nice. Look how like my hand sinks in it. You can see that. I can already feel like I might get a good night's sleep here. <laughs> So I'm excited to start putting this on my bed. All right guys, so I already spread the foam mattress and this is what it looks like. I am washing the cover. I decided to wash it after all, but this is what it is. It's like a like a block mattress. It feels really, really nice. Uh, this is the bed that I use and it is so hard. So I was like in dire need um, of like this foam topper, but I'm washing the cover and then as soon as I wash the cover, I'm going to go ahead and put it on, but I am so excited. I mean, gosh, it just, I uh, cannot wait to like have a sleep tonight and see how it actually turns out, but that is the cover and it's already expanded on my mattress. Okay, so while I wait for my mattress or the sheet to be done, I'm actually gonna just sit here on the table and work on my video before I start cooking dinner. Tonight, I think we're just gonna make um, a piece of meat with some mashed potatoes and vegetables, but it's still a little, a little too early to start cooking dinner. Um, it's around like 4.40 right now. So what I'm gonna do is just get on my computer here on the table. I do wanna play around a little bit um, with some setting stuff and just render out my video. This is gonna be a really long video, the one I'm working on. I am gonna show you guys like my full like makeup collection and stuff. And that video is already up, so I will link it in this video if you haven't seen it. But it's like almost an hour, guys. And there's no way that I could have shortened that video up because I wanted fully to show you guys my full collection. If you wanna watch it, great. If you don't, that's fine too. It's a long one, I understand. I get very intimidated by long videos too. So trust me, I get it. 
but I wanted you guys to see my full like makeup collection and um, like how I film and stuff. But I'm drinking water. Don't forget to drink your water. And then at six o'clock, I have to call my work to see if I'm actually gonna be working tomorrow. I'm not really sure, but I will call at six o'clock and see if they have anything for me or not. I have you guys right here on my little um, hand tripod. And I'm trying to work on um, getting an external microphone for my iPhone. I film a lot with my iPhone 11 Pro Max. If I'm not using my Sony a6400, I'm using my iPhone. And that's pretty much the two devices that I use right now um, while I'm just starting YouTube, I guess. So what I'm trying to work on is getting the external microphone for my phone so the audio would be a little bit better. And I know which one I want, I just have to get it, but it's currently out of stock. I also want to get another uh, like lighting fixture. Like I use my newer, it's called newer. I got it on Amazon. I will link it in the description box if you're interested. And I really like it, but I want another like lighting fixture to like make my um, videos more bright. And I know we're going into summertime right now, so that's awesome. I won't have as dark videos because sometimes during the winter when it's gloomy, I feel like a lot of my videos are dark. But I do know exactly what lighting I want. And it's not that expensive. It's like under $50. So between like I plan on only spending like 100 total between the external mic for my phone and then also the like lighting and then I want to work on getting myself a new laptop and that's something that I know it's not going to happen overnight but I want a new uh, MacBook Pro. Now this is the one that I currently use. I'm currently editing um, and it's fairly old but I mean it still works well but I've used this one and I've used it forever. Um, I think we bought this one back in like 2015 or something like that. Um, so it definitely would, I would like an upgrade. I feel like it doesn't process that well, or it's really slow or like it doesn't really handle 4K video that well. Um, I don't know, I just would love an upgrade and it does, it has like the lowest storage. So I feel like I'm constantly like trying to like delete to get more storage. So that's something I'm working on, but maybe I won't be able to get one until next year. I don't know, those are the three things I'm trying to get, but I'm gonna go ahead and just sit here and work on my computer a little bit and then hopefully by then my sheet will be done so I can start making my bed and then I'm gonna start working on dinner and then I'm gonna call my work. So that's like kind of what's gonna happen in the next three hours-ish. I now have the highest bed in America. <laughs> it's all done, I have not yet tried it, but I have like storage under here so I lifted my bed on these thingies that I think I got them from like Walmart, maybe Target, I don't remember. And I keep like a lot of storage, like I have candles up under here and then I have a t like bins, you know, and I learned this from um, like crash pads. And because I'm only living here temporarily, I made myself bins under my bed. And I still have the plastic underneath, but my bed is so freakishly high now. Between that, the bed, and then now the three inch foam, that it's humongous, like it's so high. But I'm gonna get ready to test it out right now and see how I like it. I'm so excited. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Oh my gosh, wow. Ooh, I'm getting hair on my comforter, but wow, what a difference. I can already feel the difference and wow. <laughs> I am so excited. I am so excited to possibly have the best sleep of my like life tonight. I've said this before, I sleep amazingly well like on my layovers because they always have really comfortable beds. Now this is gonna be my first time hopefully sleeping really, really well on my actual like bed at home. And oh my God, I'm so excited. This this is gonna be like heavenly. And I feel like a queen because again, my bed is so freaking high. And oh my God, I am so excited to have a really good sleep. The reason why I got this particular foam is because it had really really good reviews. I will go ahead and link it in the description box if you are interested. I got it at Costco. It was on sale for $127.99 and I'm not sure when that sale ends. I think it's going to be ending soon 
but I am just so excited to test this tonight and I will keep you guys updated um, in how I like it. I mean, it feels great right now, but who really knows after a full night's sleep how I'm going to feel or I was also worried if it was going to be too hot, especially in the summertime living in California. Sometimes it can get too hot here, but I definitely will keep you guys updated. But oh my God, I'm so excited and I, ugh, I can't wait to have an actual full night's sleep here. So it's time for me to give my pups some dinner. I just finished cooking, but I'm just gonna mix these. These are just multivitamins. I'm just gonna mix them in their food bowls. My dogs eat science diet. I have fed them science diet since they were pups. And Jack's bowl's right here, and then Cindy's bowl's right here. And I'm actually gonna mix in a little bit of wet food for them today. They absolutely love it. This is just a science diet the beef and barley uh, for adults. They love that one. They, I mean, they love any wet food. Uh, it's like a little treat for them. And they love blue buffalo. If you've ever done the blue buffalo wet food cans, my dogs love those. And especially Sin, she absolutely loves them. So this one, Jack is supposed to get uh, two tablets and Sin is supposed to get only half. But what I do is I usually just give Sin half and then Jack one and a half. That's kind of what I do. And they don't, I don't give them a multivitamin like every day. They get it like two to three times a week, but I pretty much just like crunch it up into their food bowl. And then once it's mixed with the wet food, they can't even tell. Jack is actually not a picky eater. Jack will eat everything. He's actually like sitting right here, like ready to eat. Sin is super picky. Like I literally have to like, crush this up so good uh, before she can eat it. If not, she won't touch it because she's like freaking picky, huh, Danny? You picky? I know. They're both right here. Let me uh, grab my camera so I can show you guys. Look, they're both right here. Jackie and Cindy is right here already in her crate. Huh, Danny? They love their crates, guys. They Their crates are always open. They don't ever like really get locked unless their feet are wet. But especially Sin has her bedding in there, so she loves uh, like sleeping in there throughout the day. But I have like Jack's bowl, and this is just the vitamin that I crushed up, and then I need to crush up Sin's vitamin. And my dogs have their own can opener, so I'm gonna go ahead and open their can of the wet food, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it in. These guys are like patiently waiting for me. <laughs> so they have their own can opener, and they also have their own spoon. I designate a spoon for them especially, and then I just wash it. So every time they eat like wet food and stuff, um, you know, they have their own spoon. I'm not using like our spoons. And I literally just put a little bit. So I only use half the can. I really only give them wet food as a treat, but um, I put a little bit and then the, with the rest I give to Jack. Obviously Jack is like so much bigger than Sin. So I give him a little bit more. And that's pretty much like half the can. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this can for tomorrow. And I have these lids that I think, well, it says Banfield, so I'm assuming that I got it at the hospital for PetSmart. And it just goes straight on your can, just like that. And then it goes directly into the refrigerator. So I'll go ahead and give the, the rest of the half for them tomorrow. And then I pretty much just start like chomping it up and getting it ready for them. And I like to evenly like spread it around so they don't just strictly eat the wet food. I want them to eat like all of it. Right. I always try to give Jackie his food first because he is older and he's supposed to be the dominant male. Hi, princess. And then Cini gets her food second. So they're both going to enjoy their food. Jack will finish his food probably like within less than five minutes. He absolutely loves it. And then Sin, well, she tries. She's like really been obsessed with the blue buffalo wet food, but she loves any type of wet food. If you just give her dry food, she's like, what is this? Peasant food? but they love any type of wet food. So every now and then they do get a treat and we give them wet food and that's what they get tonight. Oh baby, you love your food? Tini, you love your food? Bon appetit. So I just finished dinner. I'm here on my computer. I'm like finishing editing my photo. I'm joined by my little princess. Hi, Sadie. You wanna say hi? Hi. And then I have my big lug right here. He's always right there if you can even see him. It's hard to see him. They're always right next to me. Andrew's right here uh, with me. He doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> but we're drinking our Coronas. We bought these like two weeks ago. 
Yeah, like two weeks ago and we never drank them they just sat in the fridge so we're like oh let's just drink them so we were only planning on drinking one we ended up drinking i think the whole pack <laughs> well more so him than me but uh i think we're gonna watch a little bit of netflix as well he's watching bleed for this is that a movie or is it a series it's a, movie. it's a movie and then we started ozark and we're on like episode i don't know eight something like that the first night we watched like four episodes we watched like three or four episodes last night so i think we're around like episode eight so that's gonna be the rest of our night before we go to bed it's already um almost nine o'clock wow the day went by so fast all right guys so it is the end of the night it's almost midnight it's 11 50 and the last thing i'm gonna do tonight because i'm ready to like you know, wash my face, brush my teeth, and put on my pajamas and head to bed. But I'm gonna make myself uh, like an exfoliating mask. Um, I kind of looked up just a breathe recipe on uh, Google that is good for like blemishes. And it said to mix equal parts of like coconut oil and also just sh uh, sugar or salt. So I'm gonna use sugar because I have sugar right here. So I'm gonna do that. Um, right now and then head to bed like i said one of my biggest insecurities right now has been a lot of my breakouts and i know you were able to see a lot of them throughout the video so please be nice to me in the comments um i've never had breakouts like i have them now um i've always had good skin um in high school i had a little bit of acne which was right here i'm sure you can see a little bit of acne scarring but that was it. It was literally just like this little circle patch. My whole face was always clear. And just now I'm getting so many breakouts. Again, I've already been to a dermatologist. I have like a gel that was prescribed to me and I'm taking like medication for it. Nothing major, just pretty, you know, minor. But anything that I can do to help it. And I saw this scrub that said that'd be pretty good. I know like tea tree oil, apple cider vinegar, um, what is it like green tea? Uh, there, there's so much that I read. There was like uh, like to take zinc vitamins, uh, to stress less obviously, to take out dairy from your diet and to, what else? I said exercise, take out dairy, zinc stress less i mean there i i know everything that i have to do i'm just hopefully in time <laughs> my jackie's funny hopefully in time it'll go away so this is the last thing i'm going to do tonight before i call it a night um again like i said i am getting tired and i'm ready just to you know go to bed i am like rendering out my video right now actually i already rendered it out of imovie it's uh, um being uploaded to youtube right now so it should be going live first thing in the morning. Um, so you will see that video. I'm sure it's already linked in this video, but you'll see that one first. And after that fully um, uploads and I will be heading to bed. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like my, I guess, day in life quarantine style. Oh, by the way, if you are wondering, um, so I am not working tomorrow through the 24th. So I had a four day, the 21st or the 24th, and there is nothing that scheduling could give me right now. So they pretty much told me to not come to work because I don't have a trip at all. So I'm again, not going to work and I'm going to be off now all of May because this was my last trip for April. And then for me, I'm taking the leave. So I'm going to be off the whole I've been off this whole month of April already and I'm going to be off all of May. So that's kind of what's going on with work. And again, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this day in the life. Again, this is quarantine style. Obviously, we don't do as much as if, you know, we were going to have a fun day, like, you know, not being quarantined. And every day is different. Some days I sleep more. Some days I don't cook. Some days I film, you know, some days I go for the walk with my dogs. That's kind of been like my quarantine life. But um, I really hope you enjoyed it again. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.